how to save money and save a thousand dollars while living paycheck to paycheck this is part two of this video because in the first one uh, people told me to get to the point it's a lot of my subscribers different people emailing me messaging me even comments so I'm going to get to the point right away and then I'll explain what the first video was really all about and if you look at the link at the bottom of the first video there's an article that I linked to and that's the reason why I made that video so let me tell you guys three steps I'm not gonna say that they're simple because they're probably not and not for everybody and one of the reasons why I made this this video here is because I know that um, on the topic of saving money in general some people don't make enough money to save money and they're barely living so they have to live paycheck to paycheck so this video is for those people and if you're not one of those people you know you don't have to stay watching the video or if you just want for entertainment value I'm not a financial advisor but I have some very helpful tips so let's get into those three simple steps right step number one is diversify your money okay it is it is very important to segregate your money you have to segregate your money because if you do not segregate your money you will not be successful in doing this and if you look at some of the most successful people in the world it's the top 1% alright the 1% is not to be revered they're to be studied and they're to be studied with an open mind alright I know that some people who aren't financially secure they look at the 1% and they say you know look at this you know jack in the butt or whatever I'm not going to use profanity in this video um, if I can help it but look at this jack in the butt he's got all this money and stuff like that and he doesn't care about people money's really just a tool right money's a tool and value is really what's inside of you right it has most most of it is how you value perception, how you look at the world, how you look at yourself, how you look at your family. It's really values that differentiate everyone because the one thing that rich and poor people have in common is they have the same amount of time within a day, right? Time is not prejudice. Time does not um, discriminate against anybody. It gives everyone the same amount of precepts. It's the same amount of itself and that it gives to everyone so it's, it's the same thing right whether you're wealthy or poor you still get 24 hours a day regardless of who what when where and how right some people just know how to hack those things which goes into step number two right step number two if you are living paycheck to paycheck and you need to save up a thousand dollars while living paycheck to paycheck you want to create a 100% profit income hack because step number one is diversify right and the reason why you want to diversify is because a lot of people try to create software or, or develop software or utilize software that helps you budget like a lot of people use Windows Microsoft Windows uh, Excel a, a lot of people that I know are into like Excel and they have one bank account and they hook their bank account up to a, a um, to scale you know their profits or they create a budget account and they do it like that and let me just let you know right now if you're one of those people you are wasting your time because it, you're not going to be successful unless you make a whole lot of money and you just put it in one account and you get a lot of interest off that account that's a whole nother topic and I still think you're wasting your time either way but that could be debated and if you want to debate you can leave a comment at the bottom of this video this that I can unpack a lot with that whole situation but I'm not gonna waste a lot of time in this video because I'm here for the people who need to know how to get to that first thousand while living paycheck to paycheck so a 100% profit income hack let me give you one idea real fast <clears throat> while you're at it now this coffee can is bank account number one so that's 
step number one, how you diversify your income, right? So I'm still on one and two, and I'm talking about two, but this is the first step to diversifying your income. Now this change, the, how I got this change is through a method I call treasure hunting, right? I don't know what it's called. You could call it scavenging. Um, people have a, a lot of names for it, but I call it treasure hunting because I like having fun like that. I like to name some of the stuff that I do, you know, some of the things that I do. So the reason why I call it treasure hunting is because when I go to different places, right? Like for example, because I sell a lot of products on eBay and I'm always going back and forth to the post office, you know, I'm, I'm in parking lots and you will, f you, you can literally look down on the floor and you can see change all over the place. I mean it. I've trained my eye to see this stuff, right? And I'm not saying that this is, this might be corny to some people. And if you're watching this video, whatever level you're on, you could determine whether you continue watching this video or not. If it's really that corny to you, you know, just don't decimate the energy for people who could probably use this because some people have an open mind to some things like this. So treasure hunting, right? So basically, you know, I've actually gone to a parking lot and believe you me, I've in one setting, I've found over $5 worth of change because I'm finding that nowadays people are cleaning out their messy cars and they toss change on the floor, right? And they do this a lot. I'm telling you, when you go sh uh, shopping at the supermarket, you're going to see a lot of change on the ground. All right. So basically for me, it's not hard for me to in my everyday daily um, activities and routines to find about 30 bucks a week just laying on the floor. And I'm not kidding. People, I'm not lying to you. Here's the proof. I'm, I'm not kidding. You can see some of this change is hardened. It's got a lot of stains on it from rain. I find this stuff on the floor. It's stained pennies. And be careful when you find your pennies and nickels, people. Nickels and pennies, you want to look and make sure that the date, watch the dates because some of these pennies are worth more than one cent. And we could talk about that. That's going to go into topic number three. But I'm not done with topic two, but I could fluctuate in between. Basically, I've found change. I found nickels that I've actually auctioned on eBay because of the year and what they were and that they were a rare, rare change. And I've gotten up to about six bucks in an auction for a nickel, depending on the year, what type of nickel it was. Um, some of the nickels go all the way up to higher money. So you want to be careful when you find change. And that's why I call this treasure hunting, because one nickel that you might look at as five cents might end up becoming $10, $100, a couple hundred dollars, only $2, maybe $1. But you'll only find out as you sort through it and, and get yourself into this mentality. So um, that's, that's one way. So you might want to look at your change and easily you could put it in your can and you want to make sure you have different bank accounts, checkings accounts, uh, money market savings. And so you start off by putting this, and it's good if you use the same bank for most of the stuff you do, um, because if you ever need to transfer it over to other stuff, you can. So you get this and you put it in your savings account and you do not touch this income that you get from doing the stuff that I'm going to tell you in this video. You do not touch it because you just continue paying your bills with the other money that you have. It's no special payday. Don't start celebrating because you're trying to learn how to do something here, right? So that goes into um, the second way I could teach you a 100% profit income hack. Depending on what state you live in, this is a, a really a beautiful thing. I call this bottle returns. See, I live here in New York State. And you get a nickel for these. I know if you're in Maine, you get 10 cents, right? So um, usually some at my job, I have a container and stuff like that. I collect bottles and cans. I collect it from certain people. Um, I got neighbors that give me bags of their bottles and cans. 
And that's an easy 20 to 50. And sometimes, depending on who you are and, uh, you know, watch out for this. You want to keep ledgers if you want to, you know, 70 bucks or more. Some people can make that in a day doing this, but I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your time and money and energy. But this is so this is basically one day for me what I did right with this is 14 bucks in cash. So as you can see, there's so many different ways you can do this, right? And I talk about this because these are this is something that people can use to benefit themselves, right? So let's talk. I'm, I'm sorry that this video is long, but information is not easy to convey if you want people to understand what you're saying. And to some people who are impatient and you're not willing to learn this stuff, you're probably not going to enjoy this video because you have a short attention span. And I understand that. A lot of people have short attention spans. And that's the problem with the world today, you know, and that goes back to this word that I keep throwing out there values. What information do you value? Right? Because I know you got to get on to your videos to watch people fight in the streets or whatever stupid stuff you want to watch. And I'm not trying to insult uh, people or anything like that. Is this some of you going to come across this video and you want microwave entertainment, fast flash and video editing and super duper um, curriculum hacking and, and steps and fast hand movements and you want to be entertained and that's not what I'm making this video for. So number three is invest that income to maximize your growth income potential, right? So just like I said, start with the savings account and you want to, tr what I'm talking about now is how you place this money when you get up to $200, $300, $500, nearly a grand or at a grand and higher, right? Where you place this money to get the highest return value, right? So a lot of money making in America and capitalistic nations is has to do with money allocation, right? So if you know how to allocate your income and how to place your money and diversify your portfolio, then you can do things differently. See, I like to look at money in a way, I like to look at it like stocks, right? So stocks, you benefit when you diversify your portfolio. So the same thing with pure income, right? Or pure, pure cash flow, in my view, right? So it's the same kind of thing, right? You wanna create risk-free income and you wanna invest it and you wanna learn how to start taking on some risks, but there's some risk-free high, higher returns. The bank's not going to make you rich, but it will give you some financial security, right? Because if you follow certain trends and you follow, well, not trends, if you follow certain investment habits, you get to a point where you start making $100 a month, you know, $200 a month, just off your own money. And that's enough to pay your cell phone bill, your cable bill. It helps you out in life, you know. So basically the, the average multimillionaire, Charles Altucher said it, has over 14 different streams of income, right? So 100% uh, profit hacks, um, investing in certain bank accounts and knowing where to put your money. Obviously here on YouTube, I'm a YouTube creator and I make money from YouTube too. So depending on where I put that income, you know, is is also very important as well. So now when you put this into a higher yield savings account, there are some savings account out there, savings accounts out there that give you a higher yield. There's some check-ins accounts. So either way, as long as you make sure that it's separate so you can diversify your portfolio um, and you get the highest return on your dollar. Let's just suppose you don't have $1,000 yet, right? And you got like $800 or so. And you can get 25 cents off of your bank account, right? That's 25 cents further towards your goal, right? And you're not trying to touch the money. Now, later on, you could start investing in CDs because CDs yield higher returns. Money market accounts yield higher returns. So the, the less you can go into that account and touch it, the, the higher the return. So if you can... Um, live without 
your money for five years, six years or something like that, and you want to split your accounts in half, like for example, um, once you get past a thousand dollars or so and you know, um, you get to like 1500 or whatever. I know the, the, the topic was a thousand dollars and you're back at 500. You say, let me put a thousand in a CD with a 2.5% yield, uh, annual yield and stuff like that. And that compound interest is racking up and then you can start making money on that. There's different options, mutual funds, uh, annuities, money markets, say high interest yield savings accounts. Um, you can start buying stock directly. Um, for me, I invest in stock. I go through uh, Robinhood because it's commission-free trading, and I really do like Robinhood. So they're pretty interesting, and that's a whole nother topic. There's so many different ways that you can make money. I could talk about eBay. I could talk about Craigslist. I could talk about a lot of things all day, but right now I'm, I'm trying to appeal to the person that has a hard time saving money. So I want to stick to the topic of, of, of training you how to go outside of the norm. You got that nine to five job and you need to create a 100% profit income hack such as this, such as the bottle returns, such as all of that. So easily, it's probably like 30 bucks or more here. And watch out, guys, because there's dollar coins. You want to make sure you watch out for these two, right? Because some of them, I have the silver dollars. You just want to look for your silver dollars and make sure that you don't come across a silver dollar that's, that's worth a lot of money. Here's another one. Um here this is from 1980 you got to look these things up because you don't want to come across change that's worth a lot of money and then just take it to the bank and deposit it when you can actually um auction it or register it or hold on to it until it's worth more right because there's the buy and hold mentality there's the hold mentality altogether, right um sometimes you want to hold on to this trinket for maybe another 10 20 years so that you could see if it's worth like a hundred dollars two hundred dollars or or whatever so watch out for the years on your coins you want to take the newer ones to the bank and you want to leave the older ones even look at your pennies don't sleep on a penny because some pennies are worth money you know there's people out there that's got pennies that are worth hundreds of dollars so you you might want to be careful um, cashing in your pennies. You don't want to be that simple-minded and, and lose out on opportunities. So basically, that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. This video is very long, and I apologize, guys, but I just wanted to hit home and tell you guys, you know, what you, some, some stuff that you can use to, you know, basically income hack. And you want to learn how to hold on to money, and, and, and it's the discipline, too. So it's not always about the fast track and, oh, I'm going to run out there and make a whole bunch of money really fast because, let's say, for example, if you give the wrong person $10,000 and you say, hey, I'm going to come back in six months and see if you got ten grand, right? Um, you come back in six months, they got flat screen TVs all over their house. Um, they have new cell phones, Apple iPods, iPads everywhere and no savings or nothing and they're back to broke again. It's because the mentality is not there, you know. So when I made my first video on this topic, it was about the mentality people. So you guys wanted me to go into details. Now I have to make a longer video because I have to explain it to you guys the best I can because I want this video to be effective. I'm explaining it in this video because I want it to be effective, right? So I'm not going to chop it down. I'm not going to do any of those things because I want to give you guys an idea of how to do this so that it works for you because the, the simple act of holding money is a discipline all within itself and it's a hard discipline. Not a lot of people know how to do it. So just the practice of holding money is a difficulty all within itself and it's very important that you learn how to do this you know because it, it's hard it's it's not easy at all for most people and that's one of the hardest things for people to do and that's why they they end up not having any money so if you can learn how to hold it even something small like this or when you get change or 
you know, if you have to ask family members and stuff like that, you know, for say, hey, for Christmas or whatever, you know, I'm a little, you know, strapped for cash and I can hardly pay my bills. Can you write me a check for $10? Can you write me a check for $20 or 25 bucks or something like that? And, you know, you do things like that. So this video is very long. I'm still going to post it just as it is. And um, thank you guys for watching it. And I apologize for the link for some of you people who have a short attention span. For those of you who stuck around all this time, I'm going to ask you this because you stuck around. Please subscribe to the video. Um, there might be some links below, so check those out too. Um, I might post my ebooks on here and I might post links to other videos if you want to learn how to... Um, create an eBay account and start selling. I have videos on those topics, but this video is just for the people who need it. That's what I was going to. If you watched this video and you didn't need it, but you were entertained and you liked the information, or you, you want a way to get a family member on board and start teaching this, this is a great way to teach kids. And I wanted to add this to this video it's so long, and I apologize, guys. But if you're a parent, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before I end the video. If you're a parent and you want to start teaching your kids at a young age how to diversify money, this is a great way to do it. Have them watch this video. Um, explain it in this way. I have notes. I'm going to write it in the link description and why. Uh, it might be long paragraphs. So if you're into reading, that's going to work for you. If you're not into reading, um, see how life works out for you anyway but some people can go without reading try experiment and make it work for them too i salute to you so if you want to teach your kids how i suggest you teach them how to diversify their money get them into investing cds annuities some people know that already some people don't thank you for watching make sure you subscribe uh check out the videos on this channel and have a great day it's saturday morning i'm going to enjoy my coffee Thank you very much.